I'm at one of my favorite places, man. Um, I am overdue. I'm actually here to pick up some wheels that's been here since last winter. March. March. Uh, and, um, yeah, so I was here waiting for Ray. He was busy on the phone before. He had some customers. It's late now. And uh, he's coming down now. And I'm just looking around and a lot of goodies here, man. A lot of nitros, which I'm happy to see. But at the same time, Marcia was just bringing up some sad news. And uh, and Ray and Ray just said a little while ago he's trying to keep the nitro going. And um, there is some good news. HPI is coming back out with a Savage 2.0 nitro. Right, Ray? Yes, sir. A month yeah. from now or two. And um, what else, Ray? Well, what we else? Got two Jados. Uh, there's uh, there's two Jados? Listen. Yeah, we yeah, used to yeah, talk yeah. shit about Traxxas and this and that. Well, Traxxas is keeping Nitro alive, man. Absolutely. I'm going to bring you guys up front in a bit. I'm over here. I just want to show you guys a couple of uh, jobs that Ray has here going on. Um, just real quick. That sad little news that I just heard. I just heard that the Losi 8T is discontinued. RTR. RTR is, is, is discontinued, man. And uh, supposedly it is something political that they are trying to kill the freaking Nitro hobby. And uh, E-Words are trying to take over, but we're not going to let that happen, man. All right? We're not going to let that happen. All right? But it is. It is political. So uh, we, now, now we know what's up, kid. Now we know why. All right? It is facts, bro. Anyways. <laughs> so real quick, man. We got some nice Nitros here. Even... There's still kids, young kids still here enjoying it. Or adults enjoying Nitro still. All right. Got some Baja customers here. You got a beautiful OC5B here. See, this is a clean customer. Then you have your off-roader customer here. But this <laughs> drops this off like this to uh, get um, work on. And that's it. So let's come over here. Let's say hi to... Look at that. He's got the best oil here. This is the best hobby shop, man. Oh, we got different Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, there was an issue getting different. Nice. Heads up to all you guys that are local. Ray's got a bunch of diff oil back in stock. Even if some of you guys that are far away, he could ship out stuff to you if you can't find it. All right, I was just looking around here. I can't believe how much fifth scale parts he sold. He had so much, and he sold so many fifth scale parts. He sold all his fifth scale engines. Speaking of engines, we got ourselves some Nitro Star HPI Nitro engine here. We got some OS engines here. We got some RTR Horizon Hobby 0.28 Nitro engines here. And look at this. A bunch of 3.3 freaking Traxxas engines here. They're not, they're, they're, listen, yeah, they might have had something to do with the E-words here or there, but guess what? They're still pushing Nitro. I just wish they could have improved on their Nitros, but at least they're getting, they're still trying to get people into the hobby. All right, I've had a Jado 3.3. They are badass. Two-speed, they are pretty badass. You can hook them up. You can make some speed run uh, cars with them, Nitro speed run cars with them. You can do a lot to these. You can turn these into Draxters. So shout out to freaking, yes, Botagel said shout out to Traxxas. Shout out to the Traxxas Jado 3.3 and even the Slayer Pro. All right, which was, this was a badass, uh, a pretty cool uh, truck to be having fun with. All right. Track Day Hobbies also has the low C5 T 2.0 in stock kit. All right. One of the best freaking RCs around. All right. If you want to get into fit scale. Ray also has these beautiful rims. Look at these badass rims. And these are belted, right? Yeah. Yeah, these won't split on you or bubble up on you. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Got them in red. He also has them in chrome, but he sold out. He will be getting more in chrome soon. And he's got a ton of bodies here. In case you guys need anything or whatever. 
having a hard time finding parts. He's got a bunch of MIP tools. He's got bearings, Team Fast Eddy, full force. He's got some full force aluminum goodies for fit scales, Toro Racing, innovative RC stuff. Wow, he's, I can't believe he sold all the damn shocks. All the, He has a bunch of uh, innovative RC sh shock springs here. Chassis. He sold all the modified RC stuff except for this. RCR brakes. You got my RCR brakes, right? Oh, damn. What the F? Look, hold on, bro. I didn't even make it over here yet. Let me, let me just keep on looking around here. All right. All right. Let's go. And, you know, for a lot of you E-word guys, there's E-word stuff. Look at it, beautiful. What? Look at the fig tree, kid. <laughs> Very cool. Nice primal dragster. Beautiful. Nitro. Nitro. Customers dropping them off here to get fixed. All right. And look what we got here, man. Shout out to Team Fast Eddie. Holy. Look at this, man. Dog bone and transmission grease, kid. Look at this. Damn, man. I just want to go home with these right here. Look at that. Wow. Good shit, man. And look at this. This is why I came here for. This is really why I came here heads for. Heads up to all you HBI savage heads. All you savage nuts. They got... Marcy is just telling me that they have a bunch of HPI Savage parts in stock, okay? Look at this, man. There are a lot of you guys restoring them. There are a lot of you guys still messing around with them. That just won't give up the Savage. Hard to find parts. Yes, I, we are all aware of it. But guess what? They're trying to make it a comeback hit. And guess what? They have a ton of HPI Savage parts here. Holy shit. Look at this. Look at this, man. Don't make me buy a Savage now. I want to check out this 2.0 Savage that's coming out. We got your bunch of pull starts here for your, obviously, yo, I really hope the new Savage 2.0 is a bump box, but probably going to be pull start. Can you imagine? If it, if it was, man, holy shit. Forget it, bro. I doubt it, bro. Yeah, I doubt it too, but what are you going to do? But, uh, we got a bunch of one-way bearings, people. Look at this. All right. Look at that shock parts. Oh, you got your roto start here, people. Oh, your flywheels, aluminum flywheels, collets. Very cool, man. Oh, she got a lot of savage parts. Nice, genuine HPI air filters. There's the shock towers and stuff and races. Oh, this is Baja parts. Okay. Yeah, this this yeah, this HPI. is HPI Baja parts right here. Okay, good. Oh, look at this Savage A arms, mm. kid. Track tank suspension, the Savage X A arms. Look at that, people. I know there's a bunch of you guys probably like what? Well, call up Ray Track Day Hobbies, kid, and get your damn Savage parts, kid. <laughs> look at that. Oh, we got diff gears. All right. Got the diff gears going on. Brake pads. Brake pads, yeah, look at that. The dual fiberglass brake disc. Look at that. I used to run these in my ex, uh, my monster truck. Planetary gears. Oh, very cool, yeah. Look at that. Planetary gears, the spider gears, whatever you guys want to call them. <laughs> Check it out. In stock here at Track Day Hobbies, man. Look at this. Damn. Anything small components? This is like, you, got, you guys are like bringing me back a little bit. Slide carb complete. Oh shit, even carbureted parts, people. We got HPI carburetors here, complete carburetor. Complete carburetor. Shaft for bevel gear. Up to seven and a half, 7.5 millimeter. Very cool. Throttle linkage. Oh shit, yeah, the throttle linkage, yeah. Wow. Huh. There's so many guys restoring their old savages, and there's a bunch of guys still running their savages. 
Wow, nice, man. Server very cool. Server for the trophy. Oh, yeah, very cool. Mm -hmm. Server saver. Machine bulletproof diff bevel gear. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. This, this is heavy duty right here. Shop, shop. Look at this. Very cool. Look at these shock shafts, people. Shock shafts. Very nice. Oh my God, it's sandwich. This is for the Baja. This is a guard deflector set. Look at the diff cups. Diff cups, aluminum diff cups, alloy diff, differential case. Very cool. Huh. Very cool. What do you got? Same Very cool. All right. What else is Ray digging up? Damn. I don't want this to be no two-hour video, but goodies galore, kid. Check it out, people. You got your big, oversized fuel filters to flow more CFM, right? Right, these flow more. And you have your mops. Oh, look at these big, this even a bigger one. Here. Very cool, man. Oh, you have carburetor rebuild kits, too. All right. Shout out to Track Day Hobbies, man. What other hobby store has this stuff, man? No, man. Nobody in Long Island, bro. Only you, kid. Look at this. You know what everyone else has? Fucking battery stuff. That's what everybody has. Everybody has that shit. But then who has this, bro? Rebuild your carburetors, kid. Once in a while. Boom. Get your damn diaphragms, kid. Genuine wall bro, kid. Look at that. Change your fuel filters once in a while, kid. Look at that. Then you got the mop one if you guys like to run your shit to the damn bottom all the time. <laughs> or you got the ones you, you want to flow. You want to... Boom. Very nice, kid. What, would, what else did you have here? And what are these boots for? Because it's for the uh, Team Chase uh, setup. Team Chase setup. Damn. RCR brakes, kid. Next level, kid. Oh, those of you using the Turtle Racing clutch... He's got different springs. He's got clutches. Oh, shit. Now we're talking. The best. The best kill switches out there, kid. Right here from my good friend, Matt Olson. M.O.D., kid. The best kill switches out there. Right here. Top of the line kill switch right here. Boom. The king of the kill switches. No questions. That's how I'm going to leave it off like that. And no one can say wrong about that. Not, bro, you know how I many races that go on in California? Everyone tests and tests the damn kill switches. You know how I many problems? You know how I many people do not want to run a damn kill switch because they lose a race because of a freaking kill switch? Yep. Everyone switched over to MOD kill switches, bro. Everyone. And then us over here with the drag race and shit, without a doubt, man. I'm pulling all out of all my dynamite stuff out. I'm running all MLD stuff. I'm pulling every, all my other code switches out. Running that. What else? What else? Holy shit. My man Ray is people supporting that, the fifth scale. People that want to run. Zah. Look Very cool, man. Quick, easy stuff. Here's your high flow fuel kits, people. Boom. He's got direct replacements. All right, for the low C5T fuel tank and, and, and whatever. You can run this on whatever. All right, you got fuel lines. You got uh, the stone filter, which is very good as well. But um, those of you with um, big-ass engines, be careful. You may have to drill these out or just get a, change the, put a high flow. But very nice, man. Damn, these RCR brakes are huge here. It's for the 5T. Yeah. I may, I'm going to put these probably in my uh, my XLT monster truck. Very cool. Oh, these heavy duty. Oh, titanium. Is this the Kraken ones? Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I felt it. <laughs> I'm used. I, I know these already here. It's for the Baja. Those of you that. Want less play in your Baja A arms and stuff? Boom. I even I have these on my Roven uh, Max T. I put these on. Nice. 
We smashed them in there and made them fit. These are thicker, bigger. Very cool. Wow, more Baja ones. Cool. Oh, shit. These are replacement pads? Man, I know I bought some replacement. I need another set of replacements. I know I have a set somewhere at home. Uh, Baja. Just to have. And plus, you can shim out and stuff. So it's always good to have these people. Who else has this? No other hobby store around here. Boom. You got your replacement pads, or you can even shim out your stuff with this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, man, you keep showing me goodies. Jesus. Is that GBE? Do I, yeah. Am I reading that? Yeah. What? Are they back in business? Dude. Don't GBE, know. bro. We got some GBE. Oh, my God. I'm going to need one. We got some GBE parts here, kid, for the Baja that everybody used to love and like and hype up. And there, 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 there's just something about this sexy-ass part here. And it's super lightweight. I mean, you can get from other people, but, man, GBE was the best of these. Look at that. Look how beautiful this piece is. Made in the USA. Look at that. You, you Baja guys know about what I'm talking about. Know how I feel about this. Right here, track their hobbies, bro. You got fucking eight of them here. Ten of them here. Jesus. I do not need this, but I got to get it because when I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'll never see this again. This will be the last time. So I got to. I'll always have a Baja in my collection. Man, those of you with... Uh, Losi ATs, TLR, 8T, ton of parts here. You got it. <laughs> it's all Losi 5T. Oh, that's 5Ts. Oh, my yeah. God. Top and bottom? The whole wall. Holy shit. Where's the, um... 5T, kid. Wow. Losi 5T. Losi 8T, I have them in boxes. In boxes. Got it. Damn. Where's the last night? You got those little speed run tires, wheels over there, too. Look at this. Look at this. You want some top quality Loctite? Guess what? Track the hobbies Loctite, kid. Any questions? <laughs> bro, I, I want to have this and just hang it in my toolbox, bro. I just want to, like, I want to hand it, hang That's this. I don't, I don't even want to use it. I don't even want to use it. Track the hobbies Blue Loctite, kid. Yeah, it's, uh... Bob Smith really makes it. Bob Smith, yeah. Bob Smith is... Shout out to Bob Shout Smith. Shout out to Bob Smith, kid. They make great adhesives. The greatest, great adhesives, great Loctite. Bob Smith, kid. Look at this, kid. You got the Flexi Bob one. Smith. Zeneca Fell. This is Insta-cure. great for flexible, flexible uh, applications. Oh. oh, no kidding. That is really good stuff. It stays. Wow. And for those of you that have... I don't know if you guys remember that Savage... Octane a few years back. Oh, very cool. Track the Hobbies has those special pull starts for the for the Octane engine. And and he's got NGK spark plugs for it, kid. Look how look how beautiful these spark plugs are. Alright, again, this is for the Savage Octane. Alright, you guys remember that some time ago? Look at that. Look how cool this is. Look how cool. It's got brand new special spark plugs and the pull starts for it, which were hard to get. Not anymore. Anything total racing? Holy shit. Got a bunch of total racing stuff here. Damn. Very cool. Wait, I can't see this, man. Why are you showing me this? <laughs> Cook this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Losey 5T uh, rear hub carriers. Nice. Hostile ones. Nice. Yeah, light too. Not bad. Hostile's back. Hostile's back. Nice. For the most part. Yeah. Well, that, that's great news. I hope so. It's light and strong. Man, man this would be a great upgrade for my XLT. Where's the lid for this? Now, 
the whole reason why I'm here today, and I haven't been here in a while, been busy with a lot of stuff, different things. Uh, I got to give a big shout out to Bishop. All right. My man sent me this back in March. What well, yep. was it say that? March. March. Before race season, before we even tested in tune. Bro. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm bad. I'm bad. I was supposed to pick this up. And I, I just didn't. I tested once and I raced once this year. That was it. And uh, yeah. I had fun at the, at the event. I had a, gr had a great time. I, it was really, really cool. Really a lot of fun. I loved meeting everybody. So I, I just want to give a, a big shout out to Tim and his daughter and for the whole family that works there at Bishop Racing. You guys make the best tires. We, there's no way we could be doing those times or going in that fast, especially with these new big blocks, these big bores. And there are some new killer small blocks in town as well, all right, destroying stuff up. But uh, we could not be going down that track like this. It would be impossible, bro, all right? I mean, look at it. The Primal RC Dragster is flying now, is able to beat past FGs now. We wouldn't be able to do that if it wasn't for Bishop Racing tires, all right? Everybody loves Bishop Racing wheels, tires, for drag racing. It's just the way it is, kid. 8 Series, 6 Series, even the 405s, man. The 405s will last you forever, but you got to really heat them up. It's got to be a really hot summer day to use the 405s. You cannot use them when it's cooler out or if it's cool in the morning, right? You, you would want to use 8 Series or 6 Series. 6 Series and you're good. The problem is with the 6 Series, when it's too hot out, if you overburn out, you, you know, you're going to get them way too hot. You can melt them up. But... Uh, but anyways, let's let's take a look. What's in here? What what did I miss out on? What if I can go back to March? May, you know, during testing time, testing tune. Hey, who knows? Maybe I could have had my Baja dialed in better. I know my first gear is off and my second gear is off. That I know for a fact. But I still had the same four-year-old engine. I think it's time to take that that nice running heart. Still runs good, man. One pull fires up. Uh, I think it's time to take that engine out, maybe upgrade it, or give it back to Bartolo and let him play with it. Uh, Chris said, just take it out, send it to him. He wanted to do one more upgrade uh, to it. He's like, we'll throw a, a new ring in it. And he's like, you probably won't even need a rebuild. Motor runs awesome. I, I, I kid you not. The one pull, that's it. But, you know, he would, I told if if I was to pull it out, I want fresh. Start from fresh. Break it in my way again and, and, and go from there. That's how uh, I am. I'm not going to take it out and just do a ring, do all that. If, if I'm going to take it out, I'm going to put a fresh new engine in, you know? So I'd rather get everything redone. Um, Chris, there is this one mod that he wanted to do to it that I can't say. But uh, but anyways, let's. what do we got here, Ray? Shout out to Tim, man. Hold on, let, let, let's, I don't know if we should. <laughs> I appreciate it, kid. I appreciate it. What did I miss out on, man? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even get to use this. Oh, oh before you take that out, I just want to let Tim know, I used my same uh, tires from last season. I just want to put that right now on record. I did very well. Not being... I, I, look, I tested once. Did pretty good testing, right? I only raced once. And I did pretty good racing. I actually disqualified myself because I went out, out of the line. Who knows if I would have stayed in between the line, how far I would have gotten. I don't know. And I, I'm not, my car wasn't even dialed in. But you know what, what, what I counted on? What worked well was my Bishop tires. So shout out to Tim. Not just for this year, for last year as well. What did I miss out on this season though? Let's see. Set of fresh. Oh man, I could have had these on my car. What we got here? We got here some, a set of fresh 6 Series. But I see there's a, a little different. There's a little mold. Uh, there's a little. They look a little different, right? You want to uh, bring those, bring something up that those were the first set of tires mm. that came off the new set of uh, molds, molds for the zero offset. Ah, three and a half. Man, shout out to Tim once again. Now, I loved this setup um, last year, uh, two years ago. Then they had switched, remember? And then this is the the new mold, correct? Correct. 
So because the new mold now you have rubber on both sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the foam. Yeah. Everything is uniform. Very nice. Nice and shiny and beautiful. very nice. Yeah. And these are now available for anyone to buy, correct? Correct. I have yes. them in stock. Oh, we have plenty. Oh, look at that. Oh, I should have known. I should have known better. We're attracting hobbies. My man's got them in stock. Yet. We have, uh, Three quarters for the front, uh, three and yeah. a half, and four inch also. So, some last year when we were all running 310 feet, and I got to get my, uh, I got to put my drag baja into the threes, was with these this style of tire, these these wheels. All right, but uh, man, big shout out to Tim. Thank you so much, Tim. You are the man, kid. You and your family just keep up the great work. We 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 love you guys. Shout out to you guys, man. Seriously. We love you guys. Keep up the great work, man. Without you, we cannot be putting numbers down, people. All right? Without without, without Bishop, we cannot be putting numbers down. It, it is facts. So, big shout out to you guys. <laughs> My man. Oh, wow. Really? So, oh, damn. Super spikes, too. So, um, let you guys know, a lot of you drag racers, if you can't find any wheels, sometimes they're out of stock. Other places... Ray has a bunch of them in stock. Four inches, three and a half inches, right? What else? You got any skinnies left over? Uh, or? Three quarters. Oh, you got three quarter inch one. Oh, really? I have yeah. some two inch. Uh-huh. Three and a half, four inch. And then I also have the uh, from Primal uh, Bishop. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, my, mine's doing well with those so far, with my extreme class. Very cool. Look at these guys. Oh, wow. Very nice. Look at this, people. Shout out to Bishop Racing, man. And Track Day Hobbies for keeping this going, making things easier. There are a lot of guys right now building their Bajas up for next year, for next season. And um, they're going to need these wheels. I'm sorry to say, but you're going to have to upgrade to these tires. Because even if you get, let's just say, a, a Bartolo on drag mod, a 32, a 30.5, a 34. You ain't going to go nowhere with, with any other tire. You need these tires, people. You're going to need it. And you're going to probably, most likely, still have to add weight to your car. All right? Now, if you guys want to use... Even your Primo Dragsters, people. You can be putting 30.5s, 32s, and 34s on there. A 30.5 long rod, you're going to need Bishop tires on there. You're, you're not going to... You, you can't You can't be using anything else. You're not going to go far. You're going to lose because you're going to be spinning and be all over the place. All right? And you're going to have a high risk of crashing. So don't mess around, man. Uh, i just give you a heads up, man. Don't be messing... You, you, you're, there's no other tire like this. You're going to have to get this eventually. You're going to. Um, but anyways, those of you using a Primo Dragster with a big bore, bro, there are there is no other tire that you can use if it ain't for the Bishops all right, with a big bore. You want to run an RC Max engine on here? You ain't going nowhere, people, if you don't have these tires. And you better get yourself some four inches, definitely, for the Primo Dragster with an extreme class definitely but sometimes even bajas have to run the four inch all right but you don't want to go too wide because especially for a baja you will go faster with a skinnier rear tire the problem is sometimes you can't go too skinny because then you won't have any traction but thank god bishop now uh tim they got their compounds in right so you'll be able to go faster with a three and a half inch tire then a four, be, thanks to their compound here. And also, you, it depends how you, you, you prep your track as well. If you have a shitty parking lot, then that's your fault. But if you're at a nice place, like we had last year in New York, Long Island, or like uh, Baltimore, uh, man, they, their track's beautiful. And plus, we put track bike down. So you're going to be hooking. You're going to be out. It's going to be perfect for you guys, this setup. What was that? BMR7A. So just a heads up, Track Day Hobbies also stocks up on big bore spark plugs, right? NGKs, Champions? NGK BMR7As. Wow, okay, cool deal.
just a heads up, just in case you guys didn't know, you can get your big bore spark plugs. There are a lot of, there's more off-road guys here that come to Ray, and then there's a, a handful of drag racers that come to Ray. Uh, we have some drag racers that live a little bit further away, but every now and then they do make the trip out here to Ray. But uh, yeah, just a heads up. A lot of you guys need to know or whatever. <laughs> this is, Ray sold out uh, all the Bartolone stuff, people. This is what he has left. You have no more Bartolone pipes, no more Bartolone engines, and no more Bartolone air filters. But they're coming. The air filters are coming back, kid. <laughs> Marcia, what did you tell me before? <laughs> the Bartolone filters, oh, they come in and go. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Bartolone ones, they come in and they go. Yeah, I was cracking up when she said that. I didn't have it on video before. Multi wrenches. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Same thing with DDM, same thing with everybody. Yeah. Yo, so these skip plates here, I'm using all my XLT roving. It's working well, bro. Mm -hmm. This one here, yeah. This is the front and the, and the back here I'm running. Took a, a beating the other day. Yeah, very cool. Look at that, people. Just this part goes inside the bumper of the XLT. Because it's a monster truck bumper. Oh, very cool, man. Hey, great transfer ports. Yeah. It's right here. You get more volume in your cylinder just with this alone. You know, people with stock engines, you can pop these in. Oh, and, uh, and this tool is great, bro. Everybody should have this in their toolbox. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It's a multi use tool. This is. You should have one in your home toolbox and one definitely in your takeout toolbox. Uh, especially you drag racer guys. And then for the guys that are going to be changing this, we also carry the three bond seal. The three bond seal. I've seen it here. Yes. You got them over here. All right. You're going to need this to do that job, people. 1211, three bond. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just saying bye and stuff, so. Shout out to everybody, man. Uh, once again, to Tim from Bishop Racing and, uh, and everyone else, man. All right? Take care. Till next time.